In the seeker world, sometimes it's hard to tell which questions are the most important. Hello, welcome to Answers. This is a short form lore series where I attempt to find the answers to the questions raised while playing Secret World Legends. There will be spoilers, as well as materials pulled from outside the game. On the last episode of Questions, I asked about the Phoenicians in Kingsmith. Most of those questions were easy enough to answer. Why are the Phoenicians in the steam tunnels? To guard Beaumont's package. Who sabotaged the lights? The drug. Why the airdrop of filth infected? For study at the Orochi Research Camp. Why Ellis Hill? To coordinate their multiple operations across the island. However, there is one question that requires a closer examination. Why are these Phoenician crates in the warehouse? The answer to this question is found in extensive environmental storytelling, including monster placement and set dressing items. First, monster placement. Have you noticed the creatures tend to group together? They also tend to have logical placement. For example, old zombies are found at mass graves, the churchyard, these suspicious graves behind Norma Creed's house, etc. Wet zombies are found on the coast or in proximity to the drog. Zombie hulks are found near where other zombies can be exposed to the filth. Zombie hordes are found all over the place, kicking walls, eating corpses, and kicking corpses. And ripper zombies are found wherever they choose to roam. So why am I talking about zombie habitats? Well, there's often very little overlap between these habitats. The Kingsmith Warehouse is unique because it has every type of zombie except the occult zombies, including a rare variant of the wet zombies. This is the only place in the game where you find such diversity of zombies. Now, most of them are easy enough to explain. The sea zombies just walked out of the sea over here. The fast zombies were people who worked at this warehouse. The ripper zombies, likewise, just mutated. But what about the hulk zombies and the old zombies? There's no mass grave nearby, and there's no obvious source of filth. Well, it's not just the filth that gives rise to zombie hulks. Their lore entry states that they're changed by the occult energies in the fog, in the filth, in the centuries of layered wards and runes, cross-hatching Solomon Island. So they've simply absorbed too much black magic from too many different sources. Notice how the zombie hulks only wander around the back of the warehouse, where it appears this pod burst through the ground. We can see fast zombies digging it up, possibly eating it. Future zombie hulks, perhaps. As for the Elder Zombies, though, they're a slightly different story. They only hang out inside the warehouses, or on the loading dock. While Fast Zombies are those called out to sea, Elder Zombies are those who have been soaking up the energy of Solomon Island. Those who died recently for other reasons most of the time do not make zombies. Looking back at an earlier video where I discussed how Mr. Freezy and Dr. Bannerman were involved in some sort of corpse-stealing operation. I suggested that it was to sell to Innsmouth Academy. I'm not so sure now. We see a great many of these crates smashed open. And while they normally need to be dug up, the Elder Zombies arose with all the others. What I believe happened is that the zombies were corpses packed away in these crates. Infused with the dark necromantic energy of the island, they were going to be shipped out for purposes unknown. When the dead walked again, these ones only had flimsy plywood in between them and freedom, instead of six feet of earth. They simply smashed open their crates and overwhelmed the warehouse's defenders. Defenders? Well, yes. We see plenty of evidence of an attempt to defend the warehouses. Trucks backed up to form a barricade, snipers' nests facing towards the open bay doors, even sleeping bags for sleeping in shifts. The pod which burst out of the ground and formed the zombie hooks would have cut off their escape routes. In this game's predecessor, 
This area was a nightmare zone. These were level 50 challenge areas, like Lairs Only Solo. I generally try to avoid referencing this game's predecessor because plot points may no longer be canon. However, this is game mechanics, and I believe that there might be some hidden information in abandoned game mechanics. So this area was much more dangerous than anything surrounding it. Also, some of the drog situated near the warehouse were also max level, implying that whatever was going on here, they were a part of it. As for the defenders, I don't believe it was the Phoenicians. They were busy with operations elsewhere. Instead, I point you towards the name of the fast zombies here. Weekend Warriors. That's another term for National Guard or Army Reserve. This was a military warehouse, and likely a training area. This area is the aftermath of a battle, one which the Phoenicians aided the attacking side. Whether by accident or by intent, we may never know. Thank you for watching this video. Sorry if it's a little short, a little late, and I might sound a little weird, because I am literally getting sick as I record this. So please subscribe to this channel and donate to Patreon if you liked this. And if you did not like this, I'll cough on you.